everyone. Welcome to uh, a pretty fun example. I got this is from so a source from the AHSME. I got this out of the art of problem solving. So check it out. If a lo if log base two of log base two of log base two uh, of x equals two, how many digits are in x? So this is a fun little problem. So let's check it out. So let's rewrite our problem here. And so we'll say log base two of log base two of log base two of x equals 2. Now this can be pretty challenging, so let's use our definition here. Let's just think about, well, let's just rewrite this as something easier, this whole thing, right? Let's just call this y, okay? That'll help. So we're going to have log base 2 of y equals 2, okay? Now, by definition, we know that 2 squared equals y. So that means 4 equals y. Well, we know what y is. y was log base 2 of log base 2 of x. So we substituted back in now. So we do the same thing one more time. So let's look at taking this and calling it something else. Let's call this z, okay? So that means we have 4 equals log base 2 of, not log base 2, of z. We changed its name. So again, by definition, we know that 2 to the 4th equals z. Well, that means 16 equals z. So by definition and substitution, 16 is going to equal what z was. z is up here log base 2 of z. So what we can do again is apply that same rule and say well 2 to the 16th power is um, z. Oh, excuse me this should be x, sorry, should be x. So 2 to the 16th is 65536 I believe, right? 65,536, I believe. That's not the answer, though. They want to know how many digits. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five digits here. So that's just a fun example uh, and gets you to think a little bit about compositions and logarithms. So if, you, if anybody has any questions or comments, type them below. We'll see you next time.